Digital security. Swift response. Smart progression. Welcome to Qingqiao Safety. Investigation. Shretha Thavison, born on February 15, 1962, in Bangkok, is the only son of a military family. He studied at Chulalongkorn University in Thailand and later earned a bachelor's degree in civil engineering and a master's degree in business administration from Claremont Graduate University in the United States. Shretha has extensive business experience, having worked as an assistant product manager at Procter & Gamble and co-founding Sansiri Real Estate in 1988. He resigned from Sansiri in April 2023. Shretha Thavison's political career began relatively recently, in 2022. In October of that year, he joined the Few Thai Party, quickly rising to prominence as the party's deputy leader and head of the economic department. By April 2023, just ahead of the Thai general election, the Few Thai Party had recommended Shretha as one of its prime ministerial candidates. On August 22, 2023, the Thai parliament held a prime ministerial election. An 11-party alliance led by the Few Thai Party nominated Shretha as their candidate. He won the support of more than half of the members of Congress, leading to his election as the 30th Prime Minister of Thailand. Despite being relatively new to politics, Shretha's election was marked by ongoing political turbulence. Many Thai politicians believe that Shretha has close ties to Thaksin Shinawat, the former Thai prime minister who was ousted in a 2006 coup. Shretha Thavison has had a long-standing connection with Thaksin Shinawat, the former Thai prime minister, whom he has known for decades and supported staunchly. This relationship became particularly evident during the election campaign, where Shretha's loyalty to Thaksin was clear. After Shretha took office, his policies mirrored those of Thaksin, such as the Digital Wallet Initiative, which is a core aspect of Thaksinomics. A significant moment during Shretha's tenure was Thaksin's return to Thailand after 15 years in exile, followed by a royal pardon that drastically reduced his eight-year prison sentence to one year. Due to health reasons, Thaksin did not serve his sentence in prison, sparking criticism from the Thai public and government. Shretha's dismissal by the Constitutional Court stemmed from his appointment of Pick Hit, a former lawyer for Thaksin, as a cabinet minister in April. Pick Hit had previously attempted to influence the judicial process through unethical means, including bribing a judge, for which he was sentenced to six months in prison and had his lawyer's license revoked. This led 40 caretaker senators to petition the court, arguing that Pickett did not meet the ethical standards required for public office, ultimately resulting in Shretha's removal as prime minister. Analysts noted that the court's decision highlights the judicial system's role in Thailand's political situation. The dismissal of Prime Minister Shretha Thavison and the dissolution of the Move Forward Party, the largest in parliament, on charges of attempting to overthrow the constitutional monarchy, is a clear example. This may lead to instability in Thai politics. Tune in at 6 a.m. from Monday to Friday for Qingqiao Safety Investigation for your daily safety updates.